Hi everyone, Zoe here with you from Make It Crafty. Today I wanted to show you how you can create a scene using the Make It Crafty Digi Stamps um, in Microsoft Word. Now if you have, if you're on an Apple, you can use pages in the same way. You just might need to do a little bit more of a hunting around to find the same buttons. Okay. Um, first off, what I want to do is I've just got my page in a landscape mode, but you can have it in any mode. And I'm just going to press the enter button a few times just to make sure that I can place my cursor anywhere in the screen because it gets a little bit annoying sometimes. And then what I'm going to do is insert a shape rectangle and I'm just going to put that anywhere and I'm going to change the size to four inches by say five and a half inches. I think I'm doing this the wrong way. Four inches wide, that's what I want by five inches tall because this is going to help me decide what size my final printout is going to be to fit onto my card. So I want to do the shape fill as a no fill and I don't mind about the back, the border because that's going to help me know where the image is going to be. So you'll, you'll see later how it's going to turn out. So I'm going to change the um, layout options and I'm going to set it to be in front of the text and I'm going to, um, actually I'm going to just move it to where I want to say around about here just so that I can position it later. I'm going to set it to a fixed position so now it can't, oh it's not meant to be able to move that didn't work too well. All right. Don't know why that didn't work. Okay. So I'm going to fix that position and hopefully that will stay there. Okay. So I think that what happens now is that if I press the enter button, it will not move. Okay. Now, so what I want to do is go to the insert picture and I've put together a little selection of images that we're going to use today. Um, we're going to use the daffodil, da daffodil dowel, the flower tree branch, Jacinta sitting, and the ribbon swing. And what I want to explain to you is that when you download your images from Make It Crafty, you can download the JPEG version or the PNG version. And it's the PNG version which is designed specifically for you to create your different um, scenes. Because I'll show you in a second. So if we grab the daffodil dowel, and we insert that now. It's going to be large, so that's why we can resize it to our size of our, our rectangle. But as you can see, when um, I've inserted that, you can see that you can still see that line through the back, right? But I'm going to quickly change this to be in front of the text. And what you should see now is that there's a special white area that I have specifically filled in so that when you put it over the top of something it hides the lines behind it but it leaves the lines uh, it hides the lines behind the actual image so you'll see that when we bring the character in as well but what I want to do is I want to use the corners and I'm going to resize it down to place it in the middle here and you'll see as we build the scene how having that little rectangle there at the size that we want to print it out at will help us form our scene. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to leave that there for the moment. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to insert the ribbon swing. So again, I'm choosing the PNG version. I'm going to press insert and I'm Im it's immediately gone to the next page because it thinks that there's no room. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on this button again, the layout options, and we're going to take it to in front of text and it's going to move it up to the top. And you can see now we can move it around anywhere. Now, of course, that's too big. So we're going to just resize that again. And do you see how I was explaining before that now you can see that those white areas go over the top of the image in behind it but it doesn't come through the actual image so you can really easily create your scene without having any troubles. Now let me show you when I bring in the character if I do not bring in okay let me show I'll go to insert pictures again 
and let's say we insert just into sitting and we choose the JPEG version. We click insert and then I'm going to do that little thing again, the layout options. We're going to go to the in front of text. Now if I bring Jacinta in front now, because she's in a JPEG format, all of this white is behind and it covers the image. So we need to delete that one and we need to bring in the PNG version. She'll go to the pictures again. We'll go to the PNG, click insert, and then we're going to do the special formatting here and we're going to go in front of text. And so then we can move her in front and see how I can now see the images behind her, but she is still in front. So we're going to resize her by grabbing the corner. Now if you grab this way, it's going to flatten her, see how she doesn't look right. So we're just going to undo that. And the same happens here. See, you're squishing her to the side. But if we do it like this in the corner, it will automatically resize it perfectly. So let's bring her over here. Now you can use your arrow keys as well if you want to touch up where you want her to be. So I'm now going to grab both of these images because she's far, too far down in the garden. So to do that you hold down your shift key and you tick both of them and you see how they're now both selected. And so I'm just going to use my arrow keys to lift her up and make sure that it's centered. There we go. Now, one more thing that we want to do is insert the branch. So we're going to go back to pictures. We're going to insert the flower tree branch. And again, we're going to set this to be in front of the text like so. And we need to resize it. this. Now I'm thinking that we might rotate this one. So you know how you've got the rotate little button up here. So I might just bring it down like that. And it seems a bit big. So I'm going to take it in that corner again. And we'll bring it maybe like that. I feel like she's a little bit too big. So I'm selecting her again. But she, because she's the right size on that swing, I'm going to select the swing as well. Now if you find that you go to click on the swing and you click the tree branch, what you can do is you can just right click on that and send that tree branch to the back for the moment because we can bring it back to the front later. So then we're going to grab the swing and we're going to grab Jacinta and again I'm just going to get the corner and go like this. I'm going to have to do some modifications but I think that looks a bit better. I want her to be over that bug. I want her foot over that bug so I'm just going to bring that down like that and I need to bring that swing down just a little bit so that she's sitting on it properly and I think that looks a little bit better. There we go. Now what we can do is we come back to this tree and we're going to bring that back to the front like that. Now you're probably thinking well hang on this swing is um, way up over the edge and I'm going to be able to see it through here. So this is where another little trick comes in. If there's anything on your image that you want to hide um, what you can do I'm just, going, I'm just moving that tree branch to the side there. What you can do is you can go into the shapes area, you click on the shapes and you go to the lines freedom or free tool or whatever it is, free form, there we go. And what we're going to do is click over this area here because this is what we're going to hide. So we've got that like that. We're going to take the shape fill to white and we don't need an outline and of course it's covering the tree branch for the moment but if you go to your tree branch and you do what we just did before and bring that to the front it covers the swing but it doesn't cover the tree branch because we brought the tree branch layered to the front now you're thinking well we've made it that we've created that rectangle and but 
we've just put our scene images all over the front of it. So what I wanted to show you to do so that you can you can modify and see if you like things is we'll go back up to the shapes and we'll go to the rectangle and if you put in the rectangles and bring it to your um, to your line of your border that you've created just like this whoops oh, I got excited then didn't it okay what okay All right so I'm just bringing that down to here and insert that again like so and then insert another one I think around about here somewhere we can fix that up in a second so then if you hold down your shift key again you can select all of them and we can change them all at the same time it's going to shape fill is going to be white and it's going to be no outline and we can also so that we can move them around so we can group them together just like so so now they're grouped and you can see what your scene will look like when you cut it to fit the size of your card so you can even print your whole scene out like this so that you're ready to color it and you know you or you're not wasting so much paper as well um, you can also now go back to um, how what's the best way to do this we go back to our original there we go it's let me finally click it I'm going to bring this now to the front I can't do that from here I have to right click ah there we go right click I'm gonna bring it to front so my border here uh, I've got to ungroup this so you you get to see everything um, there we go I'm gonna bring that one up to the border line there so now it's covering that so if I go to this border I can change this to a black I can also change the weight I might want it to be a little bit thicker so and then you've got a nice border around your scene as well if you wanted to you know mat it and have it all cut out and you can even you can make that quite thick if you wanted to um, if we'll just I'll try and click it again I finally got it so I'll just change the weight again so I might make it really thick like that so that really sort of pushes the scene scene into you know into the background and so that's how you would create a scene in Microsoft Word using the Make It Crafty images now the the key points were the fact that we um, are using the PNG version of the file you can create um, you can layer them and then you bring them forward and to take them back you can use your shape to to um, remove them or like to hide certain areas of it now one other thing that I haven't shown you is that you can also flip your images so if you didn't like her being positioned on this or positioned this way and you wanted to flip her you can do that and the way to do that is by selecting the image and then you go looking for the icon that looks like this and you can rotate it or flip it so we're going to actually flip it so you can see that as you select them they will rotate or they will flip but we're going to flip horizontal so we're going to flip her that way and so now you can see that we've easily just flipped her that direction but it doesn't look quite good that way so we're going to flip her back and another thing so let's say let's say we wanted to flip the daffodil dowel so we might flip the daffodil dowel see how that looks no, I think it looks better the other way too. I think we'll leave her the way that she is, but that's what you can do. So you can flip them, you can rotate your images, you can hide them by using your shapes and then changing the layers and, and all those types of things. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. If you have any questions, just let me know. And um, I look forward to seeing all of your scenes with your Make It Crafty images. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.